Gigi loved being brushed, especially on the side of her head and her cheeks, especially with this little brush. Even as sick as she was, she purred really loud. Like that? You like that? You like that? She really enjoyed it on her head and her cheeks. I had to go out for about half an hour to run an errand and she really didn't want me to go. As a matter of fact, no, no, you don't want me to go. whenever Gigi would no, see me getting ready to go, she would always try to stop me. And when I came back, she was on the sofa on her little blanket and she was just looking very, very sad. I could see that her breathing was very labored. And she liked sitting next to me and I kept petting her, but I could also see that she was getting sadder and sadder looking by the minute. She kept turning around and she couldn't seem to get comfortable. And usually she refused to get in the carrier. This time she went right in. There was not one meow out of her. Usually she just meows all the way because she, they know where they're going. Gigi. And while we were waiting for the vet to come in, she, she didn't meow at all. She just looked scared, naturally. Got a nice new red car. You got a nice new red car. And then came the moment I had been dreading. Gee, it's okay. It's okay, love. You're a brave girl, Gigi. Yes. Are you ready that I start? Yeah. Okay. Remember, like I said, I'm going to start with... May you rest in peace, my beautiful Gigi.